Hey everybody, my name is Ethan Ostroff. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're gonna to talk about electrocution injuries today, how that can affect you, whether it happened at work or not, and what you should do next. Electrocution injuries I have seen has led to loss of limbs, death, and some of the most horrible injuries that I have experienced in my practice. I've seen, you know, young, young women, young men die because they touched the wrong wire. These are things that have death-like consequences. If you make the wrong mistake and you touch a wire, you may face the ultimate consequence. Obviously, rule number one, don't touch something if you don't understand what it is. Rule number two, if you do touch something and you do get hurt, make sure to know that you can go get treatment. Sometimes if you do work at a job where, let's say that you are like an electrical power line person, and you are working at high heights, and let's say that you do get electrocuted at some sort of high height, do whatever you gotta do to go take care of yourself. Obviously report what happened, even if it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, to your supervisor, because then you're both saving your case for workers' compensation and potentially personal injury if something egregious was going on. If you were hurt not in the scope of employment, Make sure to go get treatment as soon as possible because there is a possibility that what happened to you was preventable. Let's say that there was a statute that said a wire needed to be certain distance away from a building and it wasn't and that's the wire that hurt you. You may have a case or your family may have a case on your behalf if you do wind up getting electrocuted in a way that was preventable. There's not really much more to talk about this. It's one of those situations that if you're going through it, Make sure to get your questions answered because power companies are not going to have your best interests in mind and they're not going to pay you fairly unless you have an injury lawyer on your case. Before we end today, make sure to hit that subscribe button, follow along where I will make sure that your future injury case is protected. If you're going through an electrocution type of situation, these are some of the most horrible things that you can go through. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks so much.